Hi, I'm Rhys Pascal, and I'd like to welcome you back to the episode of oddly satisfying but totally unproven <laughs> social theories here on Daily Flash. This week, we're delving into TikTok's viral one-night relationship theory. Huh. Now, before you ask, the obvious question, is a one-night relationship the same as a one-night stand? The answer is a little more complex than a simple yes or no. As shared on TikTok, a one-night relationship simulates either intentionally or unintentionally the emotional intimacy and verbal trust you would expect from a committed relationship, albeit one-sided. This is to say one person dumps while the other person simply receives the dump. On the other hand, a one-night stand does not carry the expectation of sharing more personal information with one another. A one-night relationship is, therefore, a classic example of wanting to have your cake and eat it too. And if this sounds like you, then you owe the people with whom you're sharing that info a few prior considerations. Things like whether they're emotionally equipped to deal with what you tell them, whether you're better off sharing these thoughts with a professional, and lastly, but most importantly, are they going to take your openness as a sign of romantic interest rather than a somewhat selfish desire to get a few things off their chest? The lesson of the day is to take care of your mental health, but not at the expense of someone who, with the best of intentions, has let you trauma dump on them because they think you're down for something long term. And I have to say, as, as someone who's um, from England, we tend to be very private mm -hmm. and something that always fascinates me about America I'm American now too but Americans mm -hmm. is like they're so open I know this is specifically talking about relationships but I'll be like at a grocery store and some lady will like next to me just share a whole life story or like at a bus stop <laughs> and they just tell you everything I don't yeah. know if you ever experienced that well I, I think that there are definitely a lot of people like that and I blame reality television for yeah. that because you know some things are better left unsaid mm -hmm. and and maybe if people had a little bit more dignity and a little bit more discretion we wouldn't be in the place Absolutely. we are now but I'm confused about the the one night relationship so, so in, in you would be if you were engaged in a one night relationship yeah so it's essentially I guess it'd be a one night stand but that person is emotion they're using you for that emotional support too. okay but they're not wanting a committed relationship they just want to like have a, that um pour out their trauma and all, you know what oh, I mean? Okay, like, so um, they're, they're pouring out their feelings to you. As yeah. if you were a prostitute. Like they're, they're treating you like, <laughs> they're basically treating you like you're their therapist. Gotcha, you know? but you're, you're not paying for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Well, yeah, no, we'll I'm clear. Up. So don't, <laughs> ladies and, and men, it can happen yes. to men too. Don't, don't, don't let that, don't get caught up in Isn't that. Isn't that what friends are for though? Don't you have a certain, like, aren't people supposed to have some close personal friends you don't that need a stranger can. to? I don't know, I think sometimes men struggle with opening up and just, maybe and if they're not in a committed relationship or looking yeah. for a committed relationship they might be just looking to pour out to whoever okay. will listen and if that's the woman in their bedroom then okay that's who it is and how do these people hook up is it via tiktok or is there a, a one night relationship we'll have to get an app? expert in here in uh, hooking <laughs> up to i'm so confused <laughs> by all of this all right all right well listen up people it may be time to start applying the 80 20 rule to your relationships. But first, let's understand what it is. The 80-20 rule purports that 80% of your energy should be geared towards identifying long-term goals, what you want, while the other 20% accounts for obstacles standing in your way. In short, it means spending less time fixated on what's not working and more time trying to maximize what is working. Now, the rule can be applied to virtually any scenario where you want to see results. While the 80 represents your goal in the grand scheme of things, I want to have a beach body, and the 20% offers some wiggle room, I also want to have a Big Mac today, right? <laughs> well, it basically means 80% is the lifestyle rule and 20 is the exception. So now it's time to target one area where the rule is being underutilized dating and relationships. Now, if you're in the early stages of dating someone and you seem to be in a gray area between singlehood and exclusivity, losing sleep over that age-old question, what are we, right? Well, psychologist and dating expert, Dr. Lurv, deems that the 80-20 rule is your answer. Only initiate 20% of the time, the other 80%, that's up to your date. Huh. Now, it should be noted, this isn't about playing a cat and mouse game, but if you're looking for something serious and you feel like your efforts aren't being reciprocated, might be time to take a step back. Okay, yeah. and we'll be right back.